Tiff and Tyler, it's evident that your love is rooted in shared values and a remarkable partnership. The bedrock of your relationship is built upon unwavering commitment to honesty, truth, and respect. Your devotion to each other is a graceful dance, offering mutual support and maintaining a delicate balance. Your connection transcends mere love. It embodies an intentional presence for one another. I, I seriously, I, I couldn't have been happier though when, when Tyler met Tiff and fell in love. Um, but nobody was more uh, excited and relieved than my mom. She would say all sorts of nonsense at the dinner table. Yeah, he didn't care enough. He, did, he wasn't romantic enough. He didn't know how to dance. I always got a kick out of that one in particular. And I would say, Mom, relax. He'll be a one and done type of guy. And like always, I was right. They say when you meet your soulmate, you just know. And boy, did Tiffany know. I can vividly remember the day Tyler answered a Snapchat message from Tiff. She was so excited, she physically threw her phone across the room. Oh my. <laughs> Good? That's amazing. Thanks. So do you. <laughs> I was like, why is my heart racing uh -oh. down there? <laughs> Five years ago, I think you may have lost some sleep over a lot of things I didn't say. That period of time when you couldn't figure out if I was uninterested or just an idiot for not asking you on a serious date already. It was so much growth and maturing that I showed up to a Philly bar by myself in my grandmom's ugly Christmas sweater, ready for a relationship with you. It was only maybe a month or two after that when I introduced you to my family and they immediately knew that this was it. Tiff, from the moment we've met, you've become a third sister to me. There's never been a doubt that you were the one for Tyler or not. I'm so pumped to officially have you become my sister, and I'm equally as excited to spend the rest of my life continuing to make memories with you and the rest of the mortal elites, as I know Tyler is to spend the rest of his with you. Love means something different for everyone. But for Tiff and Ty, love means sunset boat cruises, filet cheesesteaks on the Blackstone, beach workouts, bike rides, and of course, penne vodka. Everyone used to ask me why I was so stuck on Tyler Love. I just knew deep down you were a good person. And over the past five years together, you've done nothing but prove me right. From the minute she laid eyes on Tyler, she told us that he was her person. And as we've had the pleasure of watching their relationship grow over the years, she couldn't have been more right. You may have been hard to get, but you've been the easiest to love. Everybody knows it's hard to be any sweeter than you are. Your smile, laugh, energy can light up anyone, and for me to have that gift every day makes me incredibly lucky. Tiffany, you are the most caring and sweetest person we know. Our entire lives, you have always been there for us no matter what we needed and we could not be happier that you have found your perfect match. I vow to be your biggest cheerleader no matter what hobby or season it is. I vow to be at your side in good times and in bad. I vow to support all of your dreams and push you towards your goals. I vow to always be honest, trustworthy, and do my best to match how caring you always are. 
and I vow to nag less about your tournaments and be the best golf wife I can be. I vow to love you every day for the rest of our lives. I love you forever. <laughs> You may not be the loudest, but you are one of the happiest guys I know. And I can't wait to start a family and see you become a dad because I know all of these qualities will make you the absolute best. I unfortunately never had the chance to meet your dad, but from all of the stories, it seems you stepped right into his footsteps and turned into the good man that he always was for you. He's always here with us. Cheers, Dad. Love you. Thank you. It could be you and I. Cause you're the only one all of the time. Tiffany and Tyler, congratulations. We love you so much. You bring us so much joy and happiness. I swear. It's amazing. Hi, Tiffany. Take thee, Tyler. Take thee, Tyler. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Hi, Tyler. Take thee, Tiffany. Take thee, Tiffany. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. <laughs> From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or worse. For richer, for poor. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Till death do us part till death do us part. I will love and honor you. I will love and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Now, by the power vested in me and Governor Ronnie D, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. So with that being said, we just have one more thing we'd like to leave you with. If everyone could clap along with us. Two, three. It's your wedding day, we're gonna have a ball. And this is Nick and G to get you through it all. Let's get this party started, the night's not over yet. Let's cheers.